Hello everybody, Hooded Cobra Commander 788 here. It's time for another donation unboxing video where I show you everything that I received from you guys, from the viewers, in the month of August 2019. Thanks to everyone who sent stuff in. Uh, I want to remind everyone that you do not have to send anything to me. I do not ask for donations, and you should never see, feel obligated to send anything to the channel. I'm happy just having you here and watching the videos and enjoying G.I. Joe with me. For those who feel like they want to send something to the channel uh, and have it featured in a video like this, I do have a P.O. box that will be on your screen now. This month I got one, two, three, four, four packages from you guys and one of them is international, so that will be exciting. Um, I think I know what some of this stuff is because sometimes people will tell me or give me a hint about, about what they're going to send before they send it, um, but there will definitely be some surprises in here. I'm going to start with this one because I received it first. This is from Byron Kellogg. Byron is a longtime friend of the channel. He's a great friend of mine and uh, occasionally he sends some really cool stuff. So uh, let's see what uh, Byron sent. I've already cut all these boxes open just to make it easier to pull them out on camera. Uh, so let's see, uh, let's see what Byron sent. And right on top I can see there is a letter. Uh, let's see what Byron writes. Um, oh, I don't have my glasses handy, so uh, let's see if I can read. Oh, I can read this, this is okay. Um, it says, hey uh, B. That's me. Um, I sculpted this statue of you to uh, commemorate Cobra Convergence 4. I guess that's what it is. Um, uh, uh, as a way to thank you for uh, inviting me to join in the fun. Uh, thank you, Byron. Uh, I look forward to your show every Sunday. Uh, I can't uh, write to see, or I'm sorry, I can't wait to see uh, what uh, zany idea you come up with with for Cobra Convergence 5, uh, and that's signed Byron. Thank you, Byron. Uh, Cobra Convergence 4 was a lot of fun. I hope everyone had fun with it. Um, and so apparently this is going to be a statue. Um, it is uh, packed very well with lots of bubble wrap. Uh, I was wondering, why, it's a heavy box. I was wondering why it was so heavy. And uh, it looks like, oh, okay. And then, okay, all right, Byron, I'm going to apologize in advance for what you're about to see. It's not your fault, I don't believe. I, I believe this is um, the fault of the U.S. Postal Service. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's... Unfortunately, uh, the statue, which is a uh, hooded Cobra Commander, seems to have broken in shipping. Um, and, and and there's his face. I. I'm sorry, Byron, maybe I can glue it. I'll try to fix it. Um, but it's a really cool idea. Um, it, it, has, um, uh, it has a signature on here, and it has like uh, HCC 788 and CCIV uh, 9, I'm sorry, 7 of 19. And, uh, and it'd be really cool, but it broke. Um, I'm very sorry, Byron. It's very thoughtful, and I really appreciate it. I appreciate you taking the time to create something. Um, it's extremely thoughtful, and um, it, yeah, there there are still some bits here in here. I will see if I can fix it. Okay, well, that was both a good and a bad start. It was a good start because it was a very thoughtful gift that Byron created himself. Uh, but it was bad because it uh, unfortunately arrived broken. So let's move on to this, which is our international package. This is from Oscar, and Oscar is from Sweden. Um, and so thank you, Oscar, for this. Uh, he did send me an email. I think I know at least one thing that's in here, uh, and that'll be a really cool surprise for you. He did want me to say uh, nice things about Sweden, and honestly, I can't even think of anything bad to say about Sweden. Everything I've heard about Sweden is great. Seems like a really great place to live, and I would love to visit some uh, someday. Greetings, Sweden, from the United States, uh, and thank you for this. And so let's open it up and see what's in it. Okay, and uh, upon opening it up, it looks like maybe I should have opened it sooner because um, the, we have we have candy. 
He sent some treats uh, from uh, from Sweden. Oh, this is cool. You know what this means? Oh, there's more. You know what this means? Uh, it means we get to do a taste test, and I'm totally doing a taste test in this video, and. Uh, and I don't care what anybody says about it. We're doing a taste test of Swedish candy in this video as soon as I'm done here. Okay, so here is here are the actual G.I. Joes. Um, oh, and more. So there, there are actual G.I. Joe uh, action figures in here. Um, and here's more candy. So um, uh, that looks quite amusing. I'm, I'm going to try all of this. I'm going to try this. I'm going to open these first. And then we get to have a um, an unplanned taste testing of some Swedish candy. Okay, so uh, let's start with this little one first. It seems like uh, these were packaged and packed with uh, sewing thread, it looks like. Uh, which turns out to, I guess, be a pretty good packing material. Um, these seem to be packed really solidly. Oh, I guess I should have started with the um, with the big one first because this is accessories. That's accessories, so let's start, uh, or let's move on to this because, yeah, it looks like those accessories go with these guys. Um, so let's carefully remove our thread. And um, I'll just go ahead and show you the one, <laughs> the one that I, I, was, I thought was going to be in here. Yeah. Um, so you European um, G.I. Joe slash Action Force fans uh, will enjoy this one. This is Tiger Force Psych Out. Uh, this is a figure that was not available in the United States. I want to open this carefully uh, and take it out of the very tight wrapping. This is it's definitely secure. It's definitely secure. Uh, let me take this off really quick. As American G.I. Joe fans will note, um, Psych Out was not released in the United States in the Tiger Force line, but he was released in Europe. So this is a European exclusive figure. Um, even though I don't actively collect international figures, I still uh, kind of uh, enjoy having them. Um, and it gives me an opportunity to like compare and contrast with the American releases. Um, but I mean, that, the colors are wild. I mean, that's definitely uh, uh, Tiger Force colors. There he is. So Tiger Force Psych Out, uh, the European exclusive figure. Thank you for that, Oscar. Um, this is special. This is uh, not something that I normally would have acquired. Uh, and thanks to Oscar for sending it to me. Okay, I was just taking a minute to uh, take these figures out of the plastic wrapping. Uh, they were very uh, nicely packed. Um, and so I'll show you which figures we got. I believe, uh, I mean, the rest of these figures were available in the United States, but I'm very curious about um, if there are any differences at all between the US releases and the European releases. So, I mean, we have uh, Airtight, uh, we're all familiar with Airtight. Uh, don't Google his name. That's a bad idea, but there's Airtight. Um, there is um, Alpine. I'm a big fan of Alpine. have not reviewed Alpine yet, but uh, I, I sincerely like the figure. Um, here's a classic. Duke. There's a classic uh, figure that we all know and love. So uh, it's nice to see Duke, and so uh, I'm looking forward to uh, putting these guys side by side with the American versions and just seeing what the differences are, if any. Um, there's Hardball. Also like Hardball. Um, I've always curi been curious about how like um, a baseball-themed figure would be perceived in Europe. Baseball is popular in some parts of the world besides the United States, but uh, it's mainly popular in the United States. Uh, so how does um, a European kid in the 80s uh, perceive a baseball-themed figure? That's, uh, that's one thing I'm curious about. There's uh, Tiger Force um, Tripwire and um, Budo, who... Um, Needs a new O-ring. He's all there. Budo is all there, but I, I just need to replace his O-ring. Uh, which reminds me, I've had to replace a lot of O-rings lately, and so I'm almost out. So I need to get more O-rings. Um, and that's all for the figures, but there are lots of accessories. You know, uh, Tripwire's um, 
uh, mine detector. Looks like we have a uh, machine gun for Tiger Force Roadblock. Uh, Tiger Force Roadblock is not in here, but I have Tiger Force Roadblock, so that's cool. Um, and that's what this was, it's um, accessories for all those figures. There's Hardball's backpack and uh, Tiger Force Recondo's backpack and um, Budo's accessories and a little bit of, um, of Tiger Force uh, Psych Out's accessories, his little... Um, little uh, radar dish thing there um, and uh, yeah oh that's a mainframe computer oh it looks like um, submachine gun for Duke so uh, this is awesome uh, I am really thrilled about this uh, thank you for this Oscar uh, this is exciting to me I, I definitely would not have gotten these uh, figures otherwise um, I definitely would not have gotten the uh, Tiger Force Psych Out figure otherwise, so this is this is uh, something that really does uh, make a difference to me, so thank you. But you know what time it is now? It's time to try these out. Okay, let's do a candy taste test, and um, let's start with the, the blue one, uh, which looks like it's Got and Blend That original. Uh, I am not going to pretend I know how to pronounce these words, but uh, it, it's the blue one with the fruit shape. Um, let's try it now, shall we? Um, oh, there's a notch. There's a notch to open it, like so. Uh, and let's get in there. Uh, and let's try it. Let's just let's get a few. Um, oh, there's, there's an orangey one. Let's, let's see what the orange one is. It's orange! It's orange. What else we got? We got a red one. It's in the shape of a fish. It's a Swedish fish. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. I should probably slow down, but that's really tasty. We've got a yellow one. We're not really sure what that shape is. It's kind of square. Yeah, I think that's a lemon. Now, these are good. I approve of these Got and Blend At Original. Uh, these are tasty. Really good fruit flavors. Those are good. Uh, these are Algren's Bellar. I don't know what that is. It's something original. It's, it's the yellow one. It's the yellow one with the, with the red stripes called Bellar. Um, we have a notch to tear it open. No? Okay. Alright, let's try these out. These are... And... What are those? It's like in the shape of... Uh, oh, little cars! Look, it's little cars with little drivers. Is that what they are? Um, anyway, they're in shapes that look like... Uh, look like... Sort of like little Monopoly cars. Uh, we got some red ones and some green ones and some pink ones. So let's try... Let's try... Um, Let's try a white one here. Oh, that's different. That's chewy. It's not a strong flavor, but that's okay with me. It's it's sweet. It's um it's sugary. I'm trying to think of what we have in the United States to compare it to, but nothing's really coming to mind. It's good though. Yeah, I could eat these. Look at the green one. I think they're all the same flavor though. I haven't identified a different flavor for each one. But, no, oh, these are good. These, uh, Bilar, the yellow one, uh, with these, uh, what looks like little car shapes, or maybe they're submarines, I don't know. Uh, but good, uh, good stuff. Um, this one I'll also have to share. Okay, and finally we have the other yellow one. Um, and it's, uh, it's the one that has um, a cartoon monkey making love to uh, an ape. Um, it's a surprisingly risque uh, package. Um, but uh, yeah, the monkey is obviously very happy. Um, but this looks to be like in the shape of little gorillas. Um, there's a notch here on the side that I'm supposed to be able to, to oh, there we go. All right, um, 
This one's making me a little bit uh, nervous, uh, mainly because of uh, the packaging. Um, I, 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 I'm not sure what shape that's supposed to be. Is that supposed to be the, the ape? I, I think so. Doesn't 100% come through though. It's an odd shape, and it's black. And it has what looks like a sugar coating on it. So uh, here we go. Oh, wow. That is a strong flavor. It's not sweet. It's bitter. It's very bitter. Okay, so yeah, this is one that you throw in just to see if I'll, I'll actually eat it, huh? Um, I, I have to say this probably isn't my favorite. It's surprisingly bitter. Um, it is not sweet at all. Um, but apparently that cartoon monkey really likes them. But thank you again, Oscar, for the candy and the figures. Uh, that was really awesome. First time I've ever received anything from Sweden. Uh, so uh, thank you, Sweden, and thank you, Oscar. Uh, and uh, yeah, um, at least two of those three candies I, I will definitely uh, continue eating. And maybe I'll share them with the rest of the family if they're lucky. The next box is from Dave. Uh, Dave Domenico, and uh, I've already cut the tape so I can pop it open. And we have a letter. We have a letter on top. And the letter says, I had sent you a scrap iron figure minus a letter a few months ago. I remember the scrap iron figure. I do. I'm a fan of your channel. I have been collecting Joe since 1986. Uh, had this Bushido figure from uh, 94's Shadow Ninja subset. Uh, this figure is quite unique as it changes color when you expose it to cold water. Yes, the Shadow Ninjas um, from 94, yes. Uh, not sure if you have this in your collection. I don't think I did. I don't think I did. Um, so please just use this Bushido to do uh, an eventual review if you want. Best wishes, Dave. Thank you, Dave. I, I do have several Shadow Ninjas figures, but I don't think I had Bushido. So um, I guess we know what it's going to be. So let's open this up. And oh, cool. We have a clear figure stand along with all of the translucent accessories that came with the Shadow Ninjas figures. Um, because the accessories uh, had Inviso power too. Um, so yeah, um, all right, check this out. This is, I mean, you guys, I hope you've seen the, um, the Shadow Ninjas uh, Snake Eyes review so you have some idea of how these work. Um, but uh, these Shadow Ninjas figures were in this color change plastic and you put it in uh, either cold or warm water to make it change colors. Um, it would have like a, a more normal color. Uh, and then I think it's cold water. I think cold water changes it into this kind of milky white color. Um, it's a unique gimmick. It, it is. Um, it's, uh, but it is definitely a gimmick. Uh, so I guess if, if you really like that kind of thing, you will really like these figures. But yeah, it looks like it has the accessories too. And uh, this uh, absolutely helps me um, uh, hel helps me fill a gap in the collection. Uh, helps me get closer to reviewing this figure. Um, I will probably review the uh, Ninja Force version of Bushido first. Uh, because I usually try to review the first version of, of a figure before I do subsequent versions. So I really need to get to the Ninja Force figure first, but this uh, will help. And, you know, eventually I will review it. Eventually I will review everything. So uh, this absolutely will help with a future review. Thank you very much, Dave. I will remind everyone that uh, letters uh, like what I got from Byron and from Dave I am keeping these. All of these are kept. None of them are thrown away. Um, and this is the last one. It's uh, it's very light. I have no idea what it is. 
It is from Mike Horsley, uh, the Photo Viper. Uh, that is a name that I've seen around. Uh, hello, Photo Viper. Uh, nice. Uh, thank you for sending something in. Um, I've seen you in the uh, the live streams and stuff like that, uh, and in the comments. So it's nice to get something from the Photo Viper. Um, and uh, so let's see what it is. Uh, there is some packing material um, and something that is rectangular. Um, oh, I think I see what it is. Just make sure I didn't drop anything. Check this out. Check this out. What do we have here? Oh, we have a letter. Uh, we have a letter. It says, Dear Brian, thank you for all the work you do when helping to keep the G.I. Joe brand alive. Thank you uh, very much. Um, and for inspiring me and many others to share our love of these toys in our own ways. Uh, and Photo Viper, you do have a good way of sharing your love for the toys. You are a pillar in the Joe community and are appreciated by all of us, not only for the informative videos, but also uh, by your humility and reverence you have for G.I. Joe and the community as a whole. Uh, as a thank you, I've enclosed a small gift, a little something to spruce up your new studio a bit, the new studio that I'm shooting in right now, or as we say, slaughterize it. Yes, this will help slaughterize it. I hope you enjoy it, and please excuse my horrible penmanship. Your penmanship is fine. I can read it, no problem. I haven't written to anyone uh, in at least two decades. Yeah. The art of letter writing is a little bit lost. People email now. Do they even email? I mean, for work you email, but like mostly people text nowadays. Uh, please feel free to read this um, in an unboxing video if you like. Well, I just did. I just did. Uh, so uh, thank you, Mike, the Photo Viper, and I got a peek of what this is uh, when I pull it out. And so uh, first, I want to take a look at it myself. That's really awesome. So this is um, I got to zoom in on canvas a photo print of Sergeant Slaughter uh, beating the crap out of some cobra bats. Uh, that's just that's really amazing. Oh, look! Looks like like Terminators. Yeah, he's he's getting some Terminators too. So Terminators don't stand a chance against the, the Sarge. Um, this is some amazing toy photography. We've got like uh, lighting effects and sparks and stuff. Uh, that is awesome. Um, and yeah, this will this will spruce up the studio. Um, I, I'm just gonna find a place to put it. Uh, that's uh, that's really impressive. It's impressive that you did it, uh, and it turned out really well too. So this is the second thing this month that has been sent to me that was created by a viewer and sent to me. That's really special. Um, Byron did a statue, and unfortunately the statue break it broke. I'm sorry, Byron. I'm sorry. Um, and then uh, Mike sent uh, this photo print that he did of uh, his toy photography. That's really special to me. That really uh, means something to me that you would take the time to create something and send it to me. Um, uh, so thank you. Thank you both. Uh, thank you, Mike, for this. Thank you, Byron. Thank you, Oscar. Um, thank you, Dave. Thank you, everyone who's ever sent anything in. Um, I greatly appreciate it. Uh, and that is everything from this month, and uh, it, it was a pretty special month. I mean, th this is some special stuff, so thank you all. And that's everything we got. Um, this letter, like the others, will be kept. Uh, I do not throw any of those away. I have all of them uh, that have been sent to me, and uh, I'm going to keep them forever. So. Uh, thanks again. I, I can't say thank you enough. It me it's, it's so meaningful to me that you would take the time to, to send stuff to me. But uh, again, I don't want to anyone to feel that you have to send anything. You don't have to send stuff to me for me to appreciate you. I really am happy just having you here and having you watching the show and kind of going on this G.I. Joe collecting journey uh, with me. But, uh, but for those who actually took the time to, to create things um, and to send things even you know from, from a different continent um, th that's very special to me and it will not be forgotten um, but that's all we have for now I will wrap it up 
Um, I will remind everyone that if you choose to send something to the channel, I have a P.O. box for that. It'll be on your screen now. I'm working on more vintage G.I. Joe toy reviews, and uh, you'll see those come up uh, each Sunday. I'm working on one now that I hope will be special, and uh, we're just going to keep on chugging and keep on enjoying G.I. Joe. So uh, thanks again, everybody. I will see you soon with a vintage G.I. Joe toy review. And um, until then, you know what to remember. You know what to remember. What is only G.I. Joe? What is only G.I. Joe? Only G.I. Joe is, right? I'll see you later.